Last year, our number seven trend was also about the male, the new role of the male shopper, and we reported at that time that 41% of all family cooking was now being led by dad. In 2013, next year, we see the male's influence on our foods becoming even stronger as even more dads join the ranks of shopper and of cook, and as more men remain single, longer. The median age for male first-time marriages was 22.8 years old in 1960. Now it's 28.4 years old. According to a June 2012 survey from Cone Communications, over half of fathers now identify themselves as the primary grocery store shopper. ESPN reports that just under a third of grocery shoppers are men. That's more than double the amount in 1985. More dads than moms, 52% versus 46%, are more likely to plan meals for the week ahead of time. Men are getting more comfortable and powerful in the kitchen. One driver is certainly the reality that many more husbands are working at home, or they find themselves looking for work and taking over some of the household duties in the meantime. Another is discovering the enjoyment in preparing foods. Yet another is becoming more involved in food preparation for lifestyle changes or for health reasons. Some supermarkets are experimenting with man aisles, locations in the store which feature male-oriented foods or other products to make shopping and impulse buying more targeted. We see, however, a longer-lasting effort to attract and empower the male shopper through in-store shopping and nutrition tours and programs like Men's Health Magazine's Cooking School. Newly released data from the U.S. Census Bureau shows the number of one-person households in the country, 31.4 million, comprise 27 percent of all U.S. households. Now that's up from 17 percent in 1970. Approximately 43 percent of those are male. 45 percent are seniors. Married couples with children number much less at just 20.1 million households. A further surge in single households could occur once the economy rebounds and once adult millennial kids living at home with their parents, often post-college carrying heavy education debt and facing underwhelming job prospects, feel able to venture out on their own. The Census Bureau data show that in March 2010, some 21 million adult children, one quarter of them age 25 and older, are living at home among the 12 million established households. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.